Hi, uh, you're watching this video most likely because there is vertical lines going across your scans or your copies and when you're printing from the computer it's just fine. Most likely the error is with uh, ADF unit not being clean. Um, you can't always see it but uh, I'll show you how to clean that and then we'll do additional work just to get your ADF unit back to normal and without any stalls you can continue using it. So what causes those lines is this piece on your printer that is not clean. Um, you can see on mine there's a couple specks of dust on here. Not necessarily they're going to cause a problem but it's best to remove them because once they shift a little bit it's going to cause that problem. When the page goes through here, when the uh, top cover is closed and the, the paper that you're trying to make a copy of goes through this place right here, the scanner unit stands about right here in the middle and is trying to scan it. Anything in the way of it is going to just not be able to scan and is going to give you either a blank line or a black line going through your pages and you do not want that because you want a perfect copy or a scan. Um, so on the scanner here, the ADF unit on Epson's, they usually have this protective film here which is a good thing, but uh, in order for us to remove it, it's very simple. There's a tab usually in the middle or it's going to be on the sides for different printers. Uh, there could be either two here or just one here. In this case, this is an Epson Workforce 630. It has that in the middle. You just push it down and pull this film out. What you're going to do is we're going to use some paper towel, piece of paper towel, and some Windex or any glass cleaning solution. Glass cleaning would be best. Do not spray directly at the printer because you do not want any liquid to go inside here and cause it to leak inside. So you're going to spray some at the paper towel and you're going to clean this. If there is um, a mark that is hard to get out, for example, just the window cleaner is not doing the job, usually either a whiteout, piece of whiteout that's there um, that was on original document and it got transferred to this glass when scanning uh, or it could be a marker or a pen mark that was put in there by accident uh, you would want to clean as much as you can and if there is I recommend alcohol swaps for that they usually take out any whiteout or any pen marks or marker marks out of the glass and you just rub it get rid of it in my case I don't have any but I just showed you a demonstration of how to do it this glass seems to be clean just wipe around it um, then we're gonna get to this be very careful with this, this piece because it's, it's very thin if you make a, if you just go hard on it it's gonna be it may cause a crease somewhere and that's gonna be a problem later on so just be very careful, put it over some paper, some clean paper, and just give it a clean wipe, also with um, slightly wet paper towel, and then wipe it dry. If you do not have this film, it's not a big issue, um, but uh, it's, it's just best to have it. Usually it comes with it. A lot of printers don't have it. It's basically, I've only noticed it on Epson's, which is a good feature they've added to their printers. It just protects it from extra hassle. And So at this point, we have a pretty clean strip here, and we're not going to have any more uh, lines at this in this case. The worst case that you can get in this after you clean all this and you've inspected and it still gives you a line, it may be a piece of dust stuck on, on the scanner itself, on the bar that goes through here, the one that lights up. And to clean that is, is going to be pretty hard. You need to open this up and I'm not going to show you in this video because it's a different... Usually it's sealed pretty good where the dust does not get into that part. Um, it's built, the printer is built to protect from anything going inside this area. So, um, usually if you clean this, uh, you should be all good. Just inspect it very good. Sometimes a marker mark may not be very visible, 
but it is visible to the scanner uh, lamp. So just make sure you clean all this. Um, and hopefully that gets rid of the problem.